Hey everybody, Tarwan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this simple Superman takeoff effect. Okay, so basically you're going to make use of my previous tutorial where I show you how to create a clean plate from a handheld shot. So click on this link, go watch that video first and then come back to this tutorial and then I'll show you guys how to do that. So first of all, I'm going to take my original shot. Let's just drag that into a new composition. Okay, so as you can see, it's a handheld shot and the actor does a little Superman jump and then he just keeps it there. Okay, so what we want to do next is you're going to create your clean plate. So go watch that tutorial and then come back. And then you take your clean plate, drag that in as well. Just drag it underneath the original, that should be fine. So if I hide the original, you see there is my clean plate uh, with the camera movement exactly the same. So unhide your original uh, footage, go to the point where he actually jumps like let's say just before he's gonna fly off the frame so I think that frame should be fine and then what you want to do is you want to trim your original footage down to that frame okay so if you go one frame further he's gonna disappear alright so the next step is you want to duplicate your original footage and we're gonna rename that let's call it Superman there we go and you're going to right click on that layer, go to time and then click on freeze frame. And then you can extend that right to the end of your composition. Basically that's going to freeze the frame on that specific frame or it's going to freeze that, uh, it's going to freeze that layer uh, for the duration of the timeline. All right, and then what you can do is you can trim that Superman uh, layer down right to about there. So basically it's going to play and he's going to pause right there. What you need to do next is we need to roto the actor out. So click on the Superman frame and then I'm going to quickly run through the roto. All right, as you can see, that was one very, very rough roto, but it should work okay for this uh, tutorial. Try and do it a little bit more accurate, but as I said, uh, we're going to have motion blur, so that should be okay. So if I hide the other layers, you should see that's uh, rotoed. Uh, let's unhide that again. And then basically what you need to do here is on the Superman layer, press P for position, and we're just going to animate the position so he flies off. So click on the little stopwatch, and then move on a few frames. Let's make it about one, two, three, four, five frames, and then just change this number so he flies off. Maybe something like that. And let's just play that back. There we go. You can obviously play around with the um, amount here so that you actually get the speed right. So let's bring that out a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're going to enable some motion blur. So on the Superman layer, click this little button there, enable it for your project as well. And if we play that back, we should see some nice motion blur. Okay, next up, uh, we want to add some dust uh, here on the ground. So let's go, and I'm actually gonna use Action Essentials, and I've got a Dust Wave 05 that I'm gonna use. Let's put that right on the top. And before I'm gonna add that, or yeah, let's add that first. So let's just go to the position of that frame. Okay, so you can see it actually starts there, so let's just move that into place somewhere around there and then we can just move this so it starts about at the right time okay that looks all right and then what we need to do is we just need to draw a little mask here so that we can't see this line here at the bottom so let's go to one of those frames let's move it down a little bit something like that Take the pen tool and just draw a mask around this area, say right about here. Okay, on that layer press MM and then just uh, feather it a bit. Let's make it 5 pixels, that should be fine. Okay, let's have a look. 
Okay, now as you can see, the dust is actually moving. It's not moving with the, the camera move. So we need to do a quick track and then just parent that to the tracker. So from this frame, I am going to select the clean plate and we're going to do the tracking on the clean plate. So first of all, let's just create a new null object, call it tracker, go to our clean plate, go to motion tracking, uh, just click on track motion, and we're going to select rotation as well. Okay, select two points, point number one, and point number two right and well, let's just put that little dot jumped out okay so once you've got that just click on analyze forward okay once it's done click on edit target make sure your tracker is selected click ok then apply make sure x and y is selected and click ok okay now i've got our tracker with the tracking data and you see there's the tracker and then what we want to do is track our or parent our dust wave to the tracker there we go if we play this back the dust should actually move along with the camera and that's basically how you do it so the cool thing about this is you don't have to shoot a separate clean plate you just do one handheld shot of your actor doing that little jump or any other move or anything that you want to do and you create your clean plate from that and then you do this little effect so it's very simple um, no need to worry about clean plates anymore basically so if you're on set just get the shot and you're done all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe and please share and all of those things. And I'll see you guys next time.